Hi there, welcome back to Sim Airport. I'm Risen32. We are now on day 10. Time has passed forward a little bit. You'll notice that I have added some additional security to the airport. Things are going pretty good. We've got 78,000 in the bank and we're making just under 20 grand a day. We, I still haven't hired a CFO. I don't really see the needs to do that quite yet, which is fine. What we need to do, though, is make a plan for the airport. Like, I want to push forward. But I think what we need to do is kind of figure out where we want things. So my thought process at the moment is we're going to keep a ticketing service here. Baggage claim is going to move. Security, we're going to extend and probably have additional ticketing over this side. But it will just be unbagged passengers, I think. And there'll be a reason for that which will become relevant in the future. So what we're going to need to do is just extend down a little bit. Now, you notice we've got a fence here. That's not a problem. We can sort that as we need. So now we need to figure out roughly sort of like what the costs are. And I'm going to start at like, so if we look here, I, I we're going to want to use like this space. And it's nearly, it's a quarter of a million, which is punchy. We can't afford that. We have got, so we could, we could just about afford this much, which I don't, I don't think is going to be wise for us to do. So we do want to get our baggage and security down here. First things for security that we currently got isn't, isn't really working how I want, so let's get a bit of security in here. What I also want to do is we're going to need to start extending the terminal, but we also need an upstairs because I want to ch change every one of these out for a large gate. Okay. We've got quite a lot on the old plans here to do, but it should look good once we've done it. So let's go back into our operations. We're going to want a baggage scanner. We should be able to, hopefully we can fit another one in here. That's what I'm hoping here. Now, where's, where's the other bit that we want? There it is. Metal detector. So we want a metal detector in here. That way, yeah. Hoping we can fit it down here. Otherwise, we'll, we will have to extend this. No, no, no. I want the baggage scanner. Yep. Okay, we can fit it in there. Brilliant. And then we're also going to want to get a nice little ID stand in here. So what I'm I'm debating, and I haven't really decided yet, is, is do we want to take out like an, a million bucks loan and try and get this all done like through that? I don't think it will be enough to do all the changes we want. We'll probably be able to get this this area built, which will give us a nice security and baggage area. But that's not really kind of what we need at the moment. What we're, I think, better off doing is trying to get the other gates up and having that area built and then taking the loan is what I'm thinking. So for that, oh, we do need to hire a few more security, don't we? Um, wants us to have three. Okay, this is going to eat into our profits a little bit. That's going to be six grand less. No? That's going to be a little bit less, yeah. So we've just lost two grand a month less by having this additional security on. We were doing fine, but I don't think we'll get in the airplane bonuses by having these guys in. We've missed a few flights. We've had fires in the airport as well, which just slows down a little bit. So I think, yeah, let's start getting some of our areas built. And I think what I'm going to do is, yep, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll go here. And I'm going to extend the, the width of this airport by this much down here because it will enable us to get possibly some additional food so we want to get this all the way down to the other side well let's do it and see how much it costs that's 114 i think we'll, we'll take we'll take the hit on this and then we're going to want this to go initial 21 there we go 159 so that's 289 in the hole but this is going to enable us to then start thinking about moving on our, our next gate down so we can get all prepared also there's, I think there's going to be an opportunity for us to possibly, yeah, we're going to be able to get some retail in here, but we're going to have to do a bit more planning for it. So well, let, let's let these guys build this, see how long it takes. Also, what I was thinking of doing is I'm going to get rid of one workman. I know that's counterintuitive, but the reason being is I don't want them to do this too quickly because we need to pay this back at the same time, which is going to take a little while. We probably won't get it paid back, but as long as we can stay below like the amount that's going to make us bankrupt and keep pushing forward then when we borrow the money it shouldn't be too bad that's my theory anyway we'll see how that works okay there it is all done at last now we can get to the business side of things so let's just slow the time down a little bit so what i'm thinking is we set up another gate over here so we're gonna need to have ourselves another little small one put this chap in here lovely chubbly and then we're going to want a door now, hopefully, we've still, well, we're down to 80,000, so we should have a little bit of cash here, so I'm not too worried about that. Also going to want a little bit of a taxiway into this area. Lovely jubbly. Perfect. Cool. So we've got 98,000. So now, ooh, it's actually working out quite nicely. So what we can do is we're going to need a, a little gate desk here as well, aren't we? So we get a little desk in, 
have you here perfect then i'm gonna to want to put some seats in i reckon it never brings up the form when you do that no, I, I still don't know why um objects uh comfort comfort yeah cool so what gap did we give between them so we only gave you one more gap you're not going to quite fit in here perfectly but what we can do though is we can get you planned out a little bit now we are going to need to they, they weren't fours cancel project they were threes we are going to need to do the floor as well but that is fine actually did we really put you that oh no we had a gap in the middle didn't we <laughs> so why is that not working i'm making this uniform it just makes me feel better so there we go so we'll put you like so perfect cool and then we're going to have to we'll have to do that once we get rid of that wall but that's absolutely fine now what we're going to need is we're going to need a stairway up and i say that is because we want to change this to the large one and i'm fairly certain the large gate if we have a look here requires a door on the terminal floor two okay so that means we're gonna have to go up to terminal floor two and we're gonna need to build more foundations just to get this in here and i reckon we take you from there and we're gonna do pretty good sort of 292 okay well we've done it now haven't we then we're gonna need some stairs so we want the stairs we need people to be able to get up and down right that makes sense stairs we can get escalators in later so we need a stair up yep and we can put our stairs in I'm thinking of like having them, yeah, you want them pretty close. Or do, do we want them like a little bit further in? Yeah, I think a little bit further in. So we have like the stairs, maybe sort of roughly in line of the gate we're going to get rid of, which will be you. And then, sorry, just sneezed. We can get another little gate in just here too. A gate? No, not a gate, stairs. So that's that up and down. That's not going to work, is it? Because we just we didn't build the upstairs big enough for that. Okay, we'll put temporary stairs in. So stairs up, we'll put in like here. Stairs down, we will put in there. Excellent, cool. And that's how we're going to get our people up and down. And then are we going to be able to... But also, I'm concerned about bags, but I think we're going to do it the hard way. Now, we don't want to go over 500,000. If we go over 500,000 in debt, they're going to be a bit angry with us. And we'll have to pay it back or get under the debt pretty it's pretty sharpish. So have we got everything we're going to want? I think so. Well, we can tell him also to get rid of this wall. Because what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to demolish. Well, demolish. We're going to have to move everyone from one of these gates to the other gate. And then it's all going to get a bit funny. But it's not fun to watch. I say a bit funny. It's just going to be scheduling. It's going to be a bit awkward. So we'll get that done. Can we afford to get the floor in? I'm not sure we can. Okay, well, let's just let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. All right. Progress has been made, which is good. So we've moved it all over to this turn. We'll still have put the floor down. The floor does need to go down, but not quite yet. I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Let's get this other little gate in and get a little bit of a, a waiting area in. And hopefully, we should be able to get some flights in here. And actually... Like start to push a bit more profit now we I hope, i'm hoping the other gate we've got should cover most of the cost of this there's still 240 bucks in the hole which is not too bad um planes traveling through here might be a bit of an issue and i think bags are probably gonna appear to be a problem at some stage okay you're not, not finished but that's fine so we want to get i want to get a little bit more waiting area up here and i think it might be worth possibly we can like we can, we can utilize this area down here and maybe get a few shops up here because I, I, we're definitely going to have something up here in the future. Actually, before we do that, let's get a door in. I think the door might be quite handy to have it. So we, we need a we need a decent sized door. No, no, no. We want the large sliding doors. Boom, straight into here. Now, how are we going to make this kind of sit? I wonder if like because we're going to want to get some desks up here as well. I I I don't know if one desk is going to be enough. I suspect we're probably going to need two. What I think I might do is let's double them up like so, and I think that should be fine. And then we we could bring, we'll bring them in this way. So with that in mind, can we put any glass down? Because what we can do as well, conference tables. Okay. What about in the wall world? There must be glass somewhere, surely, right? Wall. Ah, oh, window. We could try a window. Would that do it? Because what I'm thinking is we could. No, you won't let me put window in. Okay. Not to worry then. What I was gonna do was like cut sort of section off this area, but it's not gonna let us do it, it's not a problem. Why don't I close that? Right, well, let's get the seating in. We can get this set up at least. Comfort, we wanna we want I wanna have a pretty sort of large um, well these planes hold what 150 people? So I reckon 
we sit you like back here, we can get a good sitting area. I haven't like counted this out or measured it out is probably the better word. Um, I really, how do I get these, these pop-ups to get right on my nerves? Uh, I'll fit you in there. Excellent. Um, we're going for big, a big space here. Oh, okay. That, that was convenient. And we can get you in here, you in there. And then if we do something like that, yeah, I'll sit you back there. Perfect. Cool. So we've got a nice, good space here. And we're going to want to get some signage around. It's going to make a bit more sense. Now, we're getting towards sort of that size where having information for our passengers is going to be worthwhile. So we get some bins in the world. Bins are always good. Keep the space tidy. They're going to have to sit right next to a bin. Oh, well, sucks to be them. Cool. Right, so that's going to give us this little bit of area. Do we want any sort of retail over here? I mean, we could always get... I'm thinking we could always get like a drinks vending machine up here and... Yeah. I wonder if we could do something like this. Let's see how this works. We get a little food vending machine in there and we get an electronics. Oh, you won't fit. Okay. Well, that's fine. We can do something like that and see if that brings us a little bit of extra cash. So we, once we get this up and done, what we can then do is bring in, get, get the bigger craft coming in. But what I suspect is going to happen if we go back down a level is we're going to struggle at security. But I don't think we've got the cash really to do much about that at the moment. Because we, it was like 500,000 to get this big area built. But we could, I guess, do a little bit. I, I'm, I'm holding off on the loan. I want to hold off on it as long as I can. But what I'm thinking we could do is we could do something like, like this, possibly. 100,000. Yeah, we can afford that. And then we can extend the security down. All this is going to it's going to move down a level. Eventually... I like the idea of having security enclosed in, so maybe we're, we're going to use like this, we'll, we'll get a wall down here, you know, we can funnel people through in, we'll try and make it a bit more like an actual airport, but it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, so we're 361 in the hole, I do want to get some of these floors down, I do want to come up with it for colour scheming at some stage. Now which one was it, can we remember? Was it the floor 15, it doesn't look like you, no? Oh, it was floor wood 58? Yeah. So how much are you going to be? To do this whole area, I wonder. Hopefully not too much. No, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, we can afford to do it. Let's get this done and then it's done. And then I also want to, like, I want, I'm going to want to get shops in this area. Because my plan is going to be, is to spread this area out and have it more as like your, I guess you can call it your duty free with a load of shops in it. And then when we extend further, yeah. Also want to get some offices in this space as well once we get this built down. See, we've got a lot of this storage and maintenance we can put inside the building so it'll be good to get that done which will come in really handy also you know there's a lot to be done i think when we get this airport we're going to realize very quickly what our problems are i suspect baggaging claim baggage is going to become really important and we're going to have to come up with a system for that as well but we are sort of spending our cash which you know it's going to do is the world of good uh, oh how's it going upstairs if we prioritize that's what i'm thinking if we can prioritize the important parts to get this little gate open, but we can get some planes in and really see how they're going to go. So let's focus on these as a task. We could probably get a few more builders in, but I'm, I'm intentionally holding back on that because it kind of suits the need with paying off what we've, uh, uh, this bit of cash here. But hopefully getting another plane in is going to see, like we're making 20 grand a day approximately. So bringing this other plane in, which having a little look through here, there are a few around. I think we've got enough possibly for one gate. That's three five six yeah we could go for extra large other airlines if we have a little look through here to a lot more planes we need a lot more airlines but they all want things like standby gates ir ils fuel depot so fuel depot could be worth it but i think once we've got baggage sorted we can then consider fuel depots and the fuel depots will i'm hoping i can't say this for sure i think we can fuel them up on these on these pads, but not but not the small ones. I'm not sure which one. We'll, we'll have to wait and see on that. But we'll have to buy the fuel in. We don't have the, we don't have the income for that. We'll have to set up an area for it. So I think we probably need to grow a little bit more of, as an airport to do that and just take advantage of these these airlines, which aren't so concerned, excellent, about having you know all the all these wonderful amenities that are going to make them so good. I think I think this will be it will be good for us. Right, come on, hurry up, finish the job, guys. Awesome. So let's assign these to B1, close. B1, awesome. Right, 
So now we're in position. Let's. Um, I just want to slow the time down here. Because what I want to do is I want to dismantle this. Um, and I want you to be urgent. Go. Get that ripped down. I want to get a wall in here. Because it's. Ju I just don't like how we don't have a wall in there. Why have we got people in the airport? Like, okay, I haven't checked the time. Whoops. Right now, they're not going to be very happy because we've just ripped down a bit of the airport. Um, urgent. No, no. Urgent, urgent, urgent. Let's do this. Do it. Cool. Right, done. So we'll come here pretty soon. Right, while they're sorting that out, what we also want to do before it comes to slow the time down. I, I, want to, oh, I want to get in our large craft. Now, I'm thinking we may have to give the large ones like a little bit longer. So we're going to shuffle, do a little bit of a shuffle there. And that should give them a little bit longer, if I'm right in thinking. Can I do that? Oh, I can. I did not realise that. We can sneak in a little bit of extra time here. This is what I'm thinking, so we want you to come back. I want to give, make sure that we have enough time for the, uh, the bigger craft. That's exactly what I want to make sure. Um, I know. And then we should be able to... Can we... Yeah, we can. Brilliant. But, yeah, it lets us like sneak over the edge, which I like. <laughs> We're going to be able to... So, we've got enough time to unload a bigger aircraft. I hope that. So, we want to get... Large, please? you got any large. How do I get these pop-ups off? Ah. I nearly clicked the accept all. We do not want to do that. So, large. None for you. Okay. Any for you? you got any large? No. Watch this. Now that we've we've got into this, no large there. Aha. So, I can't accept you. Why is that? Runway length required to be 150. What is our runway length? Asphalt 90 tile length. Ouch. Okay. Well, that's a problem. Um, hurry up and repair that gate, people. That's going to take a little bit longer. Okay. Well, I wasn't anticipating that. Right. Well, on that note, then, why can't I take you? No, I want to. Already. <laughs> All right. So let's not do that quite yet. Um, oh, no. Now is a good time. Let's pause it. I suspect we're going to struggle to get this built before the end of the night, but we want to pull you out to 60. I think that makes it 100, 150, and we want this to be urgent. That This needs to be done before the night's out. And then we should be able to get that craft in, I reckon. That'll be peachy. We can get them all in. Everyone's a bit, little bit unhappy at the moment because we can't do anything. Store, oh, it could be that deliveries are full. That's what I reckon the problem is here. So we're gonna need more, we're gonna need bigger delivery drop off. Deliveries, let's go like this. There we go. That should resolve that. There we go. And hopefully now we can do a little bit of business. I'm hoping. Come on. And then we can get this built. There's a lot of bags knocking around. I think I think that might be a little bit of a bug. I'm gonna say it's a bug. It's definitely not as not getting people to their baggages quick enough. Definitely not that. So this should enable us to get bigger aircraft. Which, which we need. As long as we can do it before we do our first flight, otherwise we're going to have a little bit of a problem. Now, we could hire people. Yeah, let's let's bring in another chap. Just the one more. I don't want to go too crazy on it. I feel like we're going to be in a position soon to be able to cover the costs for him. Oh, we're also going to want to hire um, additional two of these. Excellent. Lovely jubbly. And we're at 6%. Cool. Right, get building, people. Build, build the runway. They're, they're really taking their time. I am... Um Pessimistic, we're going to get this done in time. Because we've also got a hole on it, a hole in the wall down there. Okay, well, at least we've got three of them. Come on, chat, you can get this done. Waiting on these boys. Okay, we're nearly done. We are not starting this day well. It's like 25 past nine, and we just get the runway fixed. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well, that'll be fine then. At least we're going to be able to get the bigger craft in here and make some, hopefully, make a bit more cash. It's going to cost us, this is a costly and maintenance for us, but needed, definitely. Right. What's your problem now? First time. Ah, oh, rats. Okay. We didn't get a taxi weight. We are not having a good day. And with 466, this is gonna cost us a fortune. And we can't Oh dear, mistakes have been made. We need to take you down. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We could be broke. Let's make that a priority. We're gonna have to move it. I didn't make it a priority. It should have made it a priority. Uh, we're going to have to move this. Let's bring in... I'm going to bring in a couple more workmen to just speed this process up. As it's going to cost us quite dearly. This is a big mistake that we've made here. 
We're not going to get any planes in today, and we don't want to go over the four. We don't want to. Oh, we're going to go over it. <laughs> oh well. And then we'll take. We'll, we'll, we'll take. The, oh, maybe we'll leave that. Okay, cool. Right. So we want this here, and you need to be urgent as well. Urgent. I mean, if we can get it open today, that'd be a bonus. I am not confident about that actually happening. Rats. That's such. Can we? Oh, we can put you down here. Awesome. There you go. Cool. You also need to be urgent. We can't do either of them without the other. So we need to get that going through. Have we lost all our flights? We have not lost all our flights. Okay, that's good to know. So now, yeah, we, no one wants to come and land at our airport currently. <laughs> Which is fine. Right, we're getting that back up. That shouldn't have cost us too much. We should have just been able to move the resources around, hopefully. Uh, we're now in the 500,000 hole. That is not good. Okay. So we need to really resolve that. But, you know, we do like to run a debt on this channel, don't we? So let's get that up and running. Let's get this all built, guys. One task at a time, please. Oh, well. They jump in between them. That's fine. Okay, that's up. Awesome. Okay, well, we've got some aircraft coming into land now, which is a good sign. So we are going to get some cash. Oh, they all just... Oh, okay, nice. They all just flew in on the runway. So we've got a little bit of a cash injection there, so it's not the end of the world. Now we're going to get our ATC tower up and running. Perfect, cool. I'm going to lay off a few of the builders. I right, would take it back down to three. That was just to get that done quickly. And they, they're going to work on getting this floor done. We don't have massive works from today. A little bit of stuff upstairs. That should be good. So let's see if we can bring in some additional planes now. We want the large planes, don't we? How do I? Is there a way for me to get rid of these? Pop ups, settings, visuals. No, 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 no. Gameplay, zone overlays, no. Build menu, auto search focus. Holiday visuals? No. Okay. I don't see one there. Turn it off. Random events. Yeah. Time lapse. Hotkeys. Mod settings. Sounds. Auto save. Zoom. No. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. No way to turn it off. UI scale. 100%. Oh, well. Never mind. Let's, anyhow, let's get these planes in. So, we want to get some of the large bad boys from you. No. You can't have them. You need to run with at least 150. But you are. Oh, it's 140. Rats. Okay, well we can get this done. I'm now past the point of caring about the money. I just want to get. We we just need to take it. One more there. I'm gonna. We're gonna dismantle. Oh, we'll leave it as it is. We'll, we'll have all these junctures on, and then we want to extend the runway one. What time is it? It's nine nine p.m. I think we can do this. We can do this. I'm confident in the. And we want to make you urgent. Just to get these. No, no, urgent. To get these high. These 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 planes in, man. Efforts, efforts. That's fine. We've got these other tasks here. We've got a lot of stuff in. So this stuff, it will be done, but it's like not, not as time critical. This should, though, I'm hoping it's going to like turn us around, make us, a, make us into millionaires. 10 p.m. We got any planes in? We have, yeah. Let's get the um, asphalt runway ready. Once we clear this, fairly confident this should be the last lot of planes. Yep. Oh, come on, everyone. Got all you boarding. You're late. Okay, so we've got a couple of late departures here. But it's, not, it's probably more to do with the fact that... Okay, well, let's force apart. Yeah, let's, let's just let's just get rid of these planes. Not ideal. I know we've probably annoyed a few passengers. But I, I want to get this runway built. You know, it's, it's a priority for us. That should now take it to the required distance of 150. And then what I'm going to want to do is... If we demolish this, not in the floor... Yeah, get rid of you. Excellent. I'm going to keep this one because it means that planes that don't need the full length can come off there, which I think will be worth the go. Right. Now, they should all be running out to the runway. Get this done nice and fast for us. This best be the right length. Now, this cost us a fortune. We are a lot more in debt than I wanted to be, but it looks like we may end up taking a loan sooner than we thought. We will do as we need to do. And at least this is going to give us the ability to get the... Bigger planes. They carry 150 people, so it's going to give us a little bit more business in the airport, which would be good. I do want to get some shops, uh, some shops or restaurants, and I feel like this is we're going to have a nice little area down here. But we need to like creep our size of the terminal up. We're now going to be double laid. That isn't going to be too bad, I think. Runway. I hope we've got enough time to get all these planes on the runway. You know, I mean, we could land. We could change these all over to large and have the little planes l l come on them as well. Don't think that'd be too much. I think that'd be a bit too much though. All right, so hopefully this should be it. I'm hoping so. Like another day opening late. It's nine o'clock. We're missing flights here. They're already being cancelled. Let's not worry about them. This is money lost. We are now nearly 600,000 in the hole. And I'm fairly certain they're going to be pretty annoyed with us soon. 
So we're going to need to do something about this cash for sure. But hopefully having this bigger aircraft in is going to give us the money for that. That's what I'm hoping. Come on, only 2% to go and then we're going to get our aircraft landing. It's that boom. And we up. We should be ready. Come on. Come on. 1%. There it is. Runway's open. Excellent. In come the planes. They're all going to be coming at once. It's some of the happy customers. The builders will get on and do the job. Right. So now what we want is these large bad boys, right? Yes. So I want to take one of you, one of you, one of you. Um, you can fit in. I'm going to put these guys in. Give them a bit more time to take off. But I want them landing quite soon after the other one. Um, okay, right, you're done. So then I need one more large morning. Yep. I need a large afternoon. That was large, wasn't it? Yeah, good. Don't want to be taking the small ones. But we want the large to come in because they are going to make us the most amount of money here. There we are, and we'll take you. Excellent, cool. Right, let's close that down. And we've got everything we need. We have, yep, so we want you, like, here. Probably move you a little bit further, and you a little bit further, and you a little bit, and give you... More the takeoff time is what I'm worried about here, not so much the landing time. There we go, and that should give it you plenty. Like, I guess if the other plane is delayed, it might push them in, but they've got plenty of time between each other as well. Just as long as they're not interfering with the other ones. We'll try that, we'll see how it goes. If we get delays, we can always look at adjusting it. There we are, we've got them all in. We can adjust that through. It's going to be interesting to see how our security holds up. I suspect, I mean, at the moment, you know, we're getting no queues. So people are going through at a pretty good rate. Plus another 150 people every hour or so. It'll be interesting to see how that is done. We should be able to make a good cash of it. So I think that's going to be everything for this episode, guys. That's pretty good. We've done well. I'm happy with, well, I'm not happy with how it went. It cost, we spent, wasted a lot of money getting this all set up. But nonetheless, we got there in the end. Next episode, we need to get our catering and get that sorted in here. I think we've got enough now. We've got a reasonable capacity to have an income that's going to warrant us building, I hope. But on that note, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, hit that thumbs up button, comment below, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. All right, guys, take care. Ciao.